Hello guys and welcome back to Stardew Valley and Dragon Grove Farm. Today is Caroline's birthday. Let's see if we can find her then. And what else is there? Let's see. Queen of Swords has for us. Poppy seed muffin. Poppies make beautiful ornamental flowers, but why not make full use of the plant with those delightful muffins? I'm a huge fan of poppy seeds. They're subtle, but they add a nice flavor and a great texture to breaded desserts. And they're healthy. Thank you. Let's take a look then. What did we learn to make? Bean hot pot. We can actually make this. Plus two max energy. Um, I don't think that means just two though. It probably means a little bit uh, more. Anyway, what have we learned? We've learned so many things lately. Uh, we also learned that there's one. Farming and max energy. These flavors are incredible. Coconut, shrimp, and common mushroom. Okay, that would be pretty easy to make. Very easy indeed. I can also make <laughs> ice cream. So, we are having quite a nice set of things we can make, actually. And the fruit salad. That is good. Pale broth. We can make that as well. But, uh, here we go. Poppy, wheat flour, and sugar. Gotcha. And it's, um... That has a soothing effect. That is the poppy for you. <laughs> do we have any poppies? We do. Not many though. But uh, some at least. Now then, should we find something and bring for Caroline? What would she like? Maybe a tulip? We'll try with the tulip. See what we can do with that. And our diamond is done. And there's some mail. Do matter. Tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Money's house for the festival of ice. It's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and a night fishing competition. Right between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to participate. We will. I'll try to go for the ice fishing again t this year. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> even better this year than last. I hope so. I think I should be. But yeah, we have so many things from yesterday. Good things. And you. Alright. Let's just drop off everything that we don't need to bring with us. So many things. Yep. And, uh... Should we... Yeah, we should be able to make ourselves another set of uh, winter seeds. So, yeah, we can just keep going with that. And aside from that, I'm fairly certain things are looking rather good. So, yeah. We have lots of things to do. Also, lots of seeds to plant once the season comes around. There's lots of them. Strawberries as well. Good stuff. Yep. Very good stuff. We're getting so many good quality things. Which I really appreciate, actually. So, we'll just be working on our iridium stuff. And uh, we'll hopefully get ourselves some nice money out of that. So, yeah. We have so many things to work on. Also, I do eventually want to get myself a shed. But where to put that shed, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it down by the lake or something. But I am a little bit uncertain. Also, we do have some wool to spin. That is good. We do have some more eggs to turn into stuff. But we don't have room for that right now. <laughs> we have way too many things to deal with. Was another rabbit's foot that we got yesterday. So many things. Also red mushroom. We could sell that. It is good for selling. It is good for money. Off to town we go. Right, first of all I want to see if Caroline is home. Is she? Ah, hello. This was the wrong house by the way. This is Jodie's house. Not Caroline. She lives somewhere else. Hi, Meta. I'm just making some popcorn. Uh oh. Is he? I think he has a slight case of uh, PTSD. Poor Kent. That sound. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. But dear, 
popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Things have changed. Yeah, I suppose. War is stressful on people. As is expected. Meta, can you say something to him? Um, Jody's to blame, she should have known better. I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife. Uh, or lie. Blame me, I asked for popcorn. Um, no. Don't, don't blame Jody. She, she tried to do a good thing, she just made a mistake. But it's understandable, and uh, we have all explained the things as sensible adults. There you go. And I'm sure she'll understand next time. You're absolutely right, Meadow. I'm sure she understands. I'm sure you understand too. Sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. That's sweet. It's really sweet. Hello, guys. I didn't actually mean to come in here. I just picked the wrong house. If I was rich, the first thing I'd do would be to hire a maid and chef. I'm glad you're a friend of the family matter. Sorry about my behavior before. That is all okay. My goodness, that would be nice. <laughs> ah, yeah. It would be... Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. Did you watch that thing? Hi there, miss. Hello. I don't have anything for you. Also, you? Straight out of bed, are you? Can I go in here? Nope. I'm not good friends with Sam. I need to find something he likes. It's hard to find something people like when he seems to like music and such. Hello. Hello. Um, The weather's interesting today, don't you think? I need to give you more gifts too. I think people will have more interesting things to say if I give them stuff. Let's see. In here. Hey. Another cutscene. Stop telling me how to live my life. Hey, cut it out. We're letting you live here free of charge until you finish school. It seems like you don't appreciate that at all. Stop trying to make me feel guilty. What is the issue here? I appreciate that you and dad are helping me out, but expecting me to dress the way you want is ridiculous. I'm not a little girl anymore, mom. You're right. I'm sorry. Is someone there? <laughs> uh, she looks so terrified. I um, didn't mean to intrude. Where this house is haunted. Well, that happened. <laughs> Hello. Hello, guys. I'm just looking for Caroline. There she is. Are you guys uh, talking things over? Hello. We're hiding in here so we don't have to talk to anyone. Okay, I completely understand that. I was the previous owner. It was the previous owner who built the altar room. We aren't religious, but we'll let other people, other townsfolk, use it if they want. Okay. Um. I hear it's your birthday today. Do you want this? You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. And <laughs> you guys just keep on hiding. It's fine. Ah, uh, yep. Goodbye. It seems like a nice, uh, nice idea to hide, though. <laughs> uh, yep. I completely understand that, though. Sometimes I don't want to talk to people at all, and I hide away. Let's see. Um, will Clint be over there, by the way? Because I kind of wanted to open him up my geodes. I'll see if he's over there or not. He might be, he might not be. But, uh, we'll check it out. Hello. He's here. Hello, Clint. I have geodes. Thank you. And... 
Thank you. I think I have that. Basalt, yes. I'm pretty sure I do. Clones near searing hot magma. Mm, I could work on upgrading my hole. Maybe not right now. I should probably do that soon though. But yeah. Um, I want to take a look around home of where I want to put that shed that I wanted to get. But I also thought that we might as well head down into the mines and see if we can find those slimes that the uh, quest wanted us to do. I assume it's Mayor Lewis as always. So, we might as well do that. Just want to take a quick look around the farm first. Hello Rufus. We do have a bunch of finished things. Might as well set up some more then. And the cloth is done just as we leave. How typical. That always happens. Always this one thing that waits until we leave and then it has to be done. But always, always happens. Doesn't it? It does. It's so rude of it. There you go. Now then, uh, where would I like to have this shed if I were to get one? I would likely use it to store, you know, random stuff. I could put it over here. I think it's rather narrow, so there will still be room for grass. But uh, not as much room for grass as there would be before. But um, I think we'll still be able to have some grass up there. There you go. Well then. Let's head off to the mines for a bit, see if we can find some slimes. We don't have all that much time left, but uh, we might as well give it a go. Because what else are we going to do today? It's winter. Winter is slow. That's just how it is. Actually, I think I needed wood for the uh, shed. I'm not sure if it was wood or hardwood. Another cutscene! Today is a day for relationship building, it seems. I met her. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood, Meta? Sure have. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. What are you doing? I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. I'm not gonna remember them anyway, I think. Maybe. Learn how to craft flute block and drum block. Cool! You can use these two to get creative on your farm. Feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you've made yourself. That's neat. I wonder exactly how those work though. Place drum sound, place flute sound. Um. I do wonder if you can have different tones for those. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, shed. 300 wood, yeah. But it's not expensive, aside from that. And we can get some wood some other day. I'm not sure how much we had. We might actually have quite a bit at home. Um, but yeah, I think that will work. Well, I might set up a well just for decoration purposes. Not sure. But aside from that, we have mostly everything. Okay, thank you for letting me look around. It was much appreciated. But yeah. Hang on, what did we need to make these? Stone, copper and fiber, and flute is wood, copper and fiber. Gotcha. Right then, down into the mines uh, we go. Time to find some slimy slimes. Are there any slimy slimes here? If not, I will be disappointed in your efforts at being slimiest of slimes. Hello, slime. Okay, I think this is two. Is it two or is it three? Um, hang on, it's not counting. Hang on, are the oh, wait, wait, wait. Have I done this? Because that's weird. Is this talk to Lewis? Am I done? Do the purple, uh, purple slimes count as um, as red ones? 
So I thought purple was so far away that uh, it wouldn't count as that. And they'll have to tell me about milk. I've told you about milk. Keep saying I've told you about milk. But no. No. <sighs> you weird, weird creature, you. Alright, let's go and talk to Lewis then. This is, um, strange. Do you wonder if I've completed any quests? We have hot hat. Keep your dome in one piece. Thank you. That's another one down. Are we getting close to anyone? Void spirits. We're about halfway there. Slimes. Getting very close, actually. Need a couple hundred more. Need more skeletons. We've hardly been around skeletons at all. And dust sprites. Dust sprites and skeletons are a little bit more rare, though. We don't usually go into the area where they live. So, we don't see them a lot, but that happens. Okay, so, hi Robin. Uh, out after work, are we? I suppose so. Well, let's head on down, find Louis, get ourselves some money. Are you at home there? That he is. Hello. I met us, so you helped us with a slime problem. Thank you. Hope you didn't go through too much trouble. Those slums can be pretty dangerous in groups. Should be a little easier to go spelunking now. You're welcome. Well, it was not in the local mines and it was not red slime, so I'm not sure. Broken glasses. Hey, let's go down to the beach. We haven't been there in a while. I do wonder if this is the rock where I was supposed to find that legendary fish, though. Because, um, I think it was in winter, I think it was something like Arrowhead Island, but this is not an island, it just kind of looks like an arrowhead. Might as well throw a couple of times and see if I get, grab anything that uh, looks legendary-ish. But this is the only thing I can think of that uh, fishing tackle has worn out. Ah, it looks kind of arrowhead-ish and um, looks a little bit special, so it actually might be something. Not finding much good at the moment. If that is the place, then I didn't get lucky anyway. Just got a herring and a halibut for now, but uh, we'll come back with some tackle later if that is actually the place. If that is the place, then feel free to tell me so, because um, I don't mind that. If I make a guess and I try for something and it is actually the correct place, I don't mind being told. Because then I can keep trying and not feel like I'm just wasting time trying something futile. Yes, that would be too bad. Anyway, I think we have, uh, yeah, I think we had enough for some seeds. Let's see. Well, I need to sell off some things anyway. Let's see here then. Shall we plant something around the iridium sprinkler? Kind of as a rite of passage for it? We'll just add a little bit around. Just close to it. This will be nice, I think. How's that? Looking good. It's very, very decorated. Very weird, but it works. Oh well, <laughs> it will be fine. Whoop. Move it faster. Move your big horse butt. And there are lots of worms around. Loads of them. Ah! Stuff in the way. Good. Snow yam is always nice. Hopefully we'll get some more of the crystal fruit soon, because that is what we're lacking to actually create many more seeds. Because if we could get that, then we'd have ourselves a nice foraging harvest setup, and it will be all good. But, I'll sell off the shrimp, I suppose. Aside from that, I'll keep this as uh, traveling food, I think. But tomorrow is the festival. So, for now, off to bed. We did get to sell a lot of good things today, though. So, I'm all pleased with that. So, off to sleep. How much did we sell for? A decent amount. Cheese, 600. Mayo. Very good mayo prices. I'm not sure what the value of the iridium egg is, but uh, it ups it quite a bit. Here we go. Hello, Emily. It is a good day today, is it not? 
I'm going to visit town today and later I'm going to help out at the saloon. Have a nice day. You're not though, because it is a holiday today. And you're not going to work, are you? This doesn't seem like a work day. Don't lie to me, Emily. Don't lie. Anything on TV? Living off the land. If you have an adult barn animals, have adult barn animals and space left in your barn, there's always a chance for one of your animals could give birth. Something to keep in mind. It is indeed. I don't know how it works because biology. How? How do? I don't know. <laughs> but it does apparently. Alright. And lots of things are done. Do matter. Nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. I've enclosed the recipe to help you out. Take care from Caroline. Vegetable stew. We'll take a look at what that is. How oh, are my standings with uh, Caroline? Pretty good. Greetings, young adept. I'm enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Frozen tear. Thank you. Do you wonder if I don't have any more uh, things with him eventually, though? Because keep doing things for him and nothing happens. I maxed him out and nothing happens. I do a quest for him that he asked for and nothing happens. Why, Rasmodius? Why? Why are you so difficult to deal with? Well, we need... Uh, do we have anything? Or everything? Three of those, three of those. We need more crocus. And um, one more. And I think that's all for three packs of seeds. One, two, three. Perfect. So let's get to work. There we go. Lovely. And this is going to be so nice once these start growing. Because uh, the Red Game Sprinkler putting them some to good use already. And I hope I'll see some nice results out of them. Okay. Not bad at all. I should uh, take a trip over to town though. See if there are any quests up. I don't know if quests get put up during holiday days. Also, we have lots of things done. Let's put some more to work. The Festival of Ice has begun near Morning's Ranch. Let's head over there in a tiny moment. But I just noticed that I had more seeds on me and I did not plant them because why would I plant them? I didn't get them to plant them or anything, did I? I know I did not. There you go. That should work around here. It looks so tiny now that I've seen what I can do with these. Well, that works anyway. So tiny. Let's water them up. Watering seeds in winter sounds like such a bad idea. Right. Festival of Ice. Time to go. And see what we have there. Maybe something good. Hi guys. I suppose things will be mostly like last year. So let's talk to Kent. I like winter. It's peaceful. Simple and easy. Hello, guys. The snow is so cold, I can't feel my fingers anymore. That is what snow tends to be like. What do you think of my snow goon? Let's see. Hmm, what kind of snowman should we make? Um. Something funky this year. Okay, that sounds like fun. Here we go. Inspire them a bit. Hey, Pam. I'm gonna beat you at fishing this year. Plan on winning the ice fishing competition? Uh, Willie is gonna be pretty hard to beat though. He does this kind of stuff day and night. Yep. But I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. Hello, Willie. It's competition. Hey, Matter. Ready for some ice fishing? Yes. And I'm going to beat you. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Hopefully, I will beat you. Now that I've said that. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Thank you. I don't think there's much else here though. Not much else here at all. I don't think there are any shops or anything like that. I think it's just, uh, you know, the competition and the prices. So let's get to work on this. I do wonder if any of the, um, the characters that are not normally out would come out at this point in time, but no. All the trees are removed as well. It's a little weird. You can just remove all the trees for the festival. 
The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to compete. We are ready. Yep, let's go. Alright everyone, let's begin this I I uh, this year's ice fishing competition. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. Well, is everyone ready? Begin! Let's start. Just a little tap on it is enough. And if I remember correctly, these fish are very, very slow and uh, dull. Whoop. So we should be able to get quite a few. Why is there a sunfish in there? A sunfish? Are sunfish, you know, for summer season? I'm not sure. Maybe they're just for day in general. Hmm. Well, I suppose you're not keeping the fish anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Can we please turn the correct... Th the correct way... Hello? Thank you. I suppose my trajectory was a tiny bit off. That's not even a fish. That's not even a fish either. Can we get a fish, please? Are you making it harder this year for me? Because I think you are. Because I thought I got more fish last year and not so much uh, seaweed or anything. But uh, the misclicking is entirely my fault. The weeds, though, not so much my fault. But hopefully I'll get enough. Lovely. Next up. We need more. We're not done. We're not done yet. We need to beat all of these guys. Whoop. No. And I'm ruining it. How many fish do we need? Maybe we can get five or six. Should be able to get five at least. That's five. And if we can get one. Get one. Come on. Ah, Too bad. That didn't go too well, at all. Well, hopefully it is enough. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Ah, the smell. Is that bad? Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Come on, fingers crossed. Meta with five big slimy fish. Good. We got it anyway. Thank you. 2,000. Not bad. So I suppose seeing as we got the first prize last year, we don't get anything like that. I can't believe I won. Well, time to head home. Um, I suppose seeing as we won last year, we won't get the prize this year around as well. So, yeah. That is good enough, I suppose. Good enough for me. Let's, uh... Let's work on some more stuff before we go to bed. Because we have a bunch of things that we can just, you know, get through. Let's, uh, a couple of ducks and some dinosaur. That will do. And some goat cheese. That will be plenty, I think, for the evening. There we go. Whoop, you're not goat milk. You are a plant. And I don't think we make a cheese from you. Whoop. Nope. Let's just do this. So yeah, been a lot of cutscenes this episode. So I think we're not going to drag this on much longer. We're just going to head off to bed right about now. And our money is racking up very nicely. We'll be able to do a bunch of things that we couldn't have done before. But I don't think there's too much else to do today. So I'm pretty sure we'll just head off to bed for now. 
So thank you very much for watching this episode. As always, if you have any feedback for me, feel free to give that. That's always super appreciated. But goodbye for now and take care.